All right, today we're going to be doing an oxygen sensor spacer in a 2002 Honda Civic Si. It's an EP3 hatchback that I picked up. Um, it's got a check engine light for a P0420, which comes out to end up being the catalytic converter in most cases. The oxygen sensors are fine. Um, those were, I think, replaced at some point by the previous owner um, and then basically narrowed it down to the catalytic converter. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a spacer here. Um, to space out the oxygen sensor and that should generally get rid of the light at least for a while um, What I'm going to be using for that is the spark plug um, Non-fowlers, but we get to drill out the end here. So I'll show you how we end up doing that but essentially this you know this part up top here is where the Oxygen sensor ends up on threading in and then down here this part ends up threading into uh, Catalytic converter in this case on this car or after the catalytic converter um uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll show you how we end up doing this. This is the 18 millimeter one. That's the size I need for this vehicle. So yours may be different if you're not doing the same exact field goal, but yeah, so. Yep. Okay, I'm underneath the car right now. I'm on the driver's side. Got the car jacked up. Got jack stand here. Jack also holding it up. Chocks behind the wheels. I The O2 sensor that you're going to want to take out is going to be this guy here. This is the one we're going to be taking out and putting the spacer in. Um, so I'll show you how we do that here in just a sec. Alright, so depending on your climate and where you are, this will be a lot harder to take off. Mine was actually pretty difficult. Um, I actually had to use a breaker bar, but I forgot to record that part. So here it is. Um, there's a clip right here holding the wiring harness in place. In order to take it off, you're going to want to pop that off because otherwise the wire is going to bind. You're going to ruin the O2 sensor. And then you'll have to you know, spend money for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off right here. Got that off there. And now this guy should just about start spinning off more or less pretty easily. All right. And these right here are what I'm going to be using to do this job. Um, they're called spark plug non-fowlers. Um, and basically the O2 sensor is going to thread into here. There's an 18 millimeter one for this vehicle. Um, but as you can see here, this is made for a spark plug. So I'm going to have to go ahead and drill this guy out here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to use a step bit and see how far it gets me, and I'll try it out, and then we'll go ahead and put it on. All right, so here I am. I'm going to go ahead and start drilling it out. Since I don't have a vise here, I'm going to get a little mullety here and just hold it with this stand on it. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, so we'll see here in a sec. Um, this obviously would be much better and easier on a vise, so yeah. that went pretty smoothly. I'm gonna to have to go ahead and grab an O2 sensor here and try it out. Make sure that the O2 sensor is able to go in far enough. Okay, so it looks like I still need to go in a bit further because it still doesn't even begin to thread in here. So go ahead and drill it out some more. If that helped any, it may not actually. I might have to grab a regular bit and yeah, so I'm gonna have to grab a regular bit here. So just a sec. Okay, so here I got a thinner bit that hopefully goes down far enough to drill out where I need to. So I'll try that out here, see how it treats me. Not sure how well I'm gonna be able to hold this now. I may have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a block of wood once. Alright, I got it here on a block of wood now. Block of wood's a very good thing to have around for various different things when you're working with cars. Let's get it here so you can see. I mean, it's not a whole lot to see, but. Flip it over and do the same here. All right, let's say I need to put an extension on this. Again, this would obviously be much easier with a vise, so if you have one, it's probably best to use one. Oh, starting to 
tap, so I'm going to back off here. Alright, let's see if the O2 sensor fits in there now. Say it's close, but not quite, at least not with this Bosch one that I'm testing with, but the one in the car may be large enough, so I may drill it a little more and then give it a try. Okay, so I just went and checked it. It'll now fit on the Honda one here. The one I've got here is for a Nissan, so it's a little bit different size, but um, or the two sensors I was showing with initially, but it will fit on the Honda one now, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in, and I'll show you how I do that. It's pretty damn simple, but I'll show you anyway. Alright, so here's it. You can see here, I had to make the hole big enough for the little tip part here. I'm not really sure what it's called, but now it's enough for it to thread in. So I'm going to thread it in, but first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of anti-seize here, as well as on this thread, just to keep it from seizing, because I did have to use a breaker bar to get this guy out. So I'll go ahead and apply that right now. doesn't need much, just a little tiny dab on each will be plenty. I'm just putting that one right in there inside the threads. And I'm just going to hand tighten this in right now, and then once it's actually on the car, obviously I'm going to crank it in. Oh, there we go. It goes all the way in. You're going to want to, when you put this O2 sensor, you can either remove it, the plug for it is right up here, or you can just twist it the opposite way, the way you're going to be cranking it in. You know, that's kind of the way I prefer to do it, but... You know, to each their own as far as that goes. Not really a wrong way to do it as long as it ends up working. And right now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm kind of coating the hole in here with NICs and the converter here. Alright, I may have to reposition this just so you can see. It's kind of crappy lighting here. It's daytime. It's kind of cloudy. Alright, so I'm going to twist this counterclockwise a few times just so it ends up where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna put it by hand and see how far we get. Up. But honestly, you probably are better off just undoing it from over there. But I'm just kind of being lazy, which is actually oddly enough causing me more work. So, learn a lesson for me, I guess. Don't know. So basically perfect and I just gotta grab my O2 sensor wrench here and crank it tight you can torque this if you want I'm just kind of getting it in there as tight as I can and there we go that is in Got the NICs there, so hopefully it doesn't end up coming out. And you can see the spacer there. This should take care of it. I'm going to go ahead and clear my check engine light, drive for the next week or so, and see how it treats me. All right, and these were the tools that I used to complete this job. I just used a work light, a um, pair of vice grips. If you have a vice, you know, that would be better. I have an O2 sensor socket as well as a ratchet. NICs, step up bits, and a drill. I also use the O2 sensor that I have for another project as reference. And then of course the, the O2 um, spacer or spark plug non fouler if you go in the route I am. And overall it was a pretty simple job, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns on this, please let me know.